Hey there folks, I've been getting a lot of questions about uh, chargers for lithium batteries. So I thought I would just go quickly over some of the common questions I get. First of all, everybody always asks, do I need a specific charger for a lithium battery? Can I just use the same battery I've been using for my sealed lead acid batteries? And the answer is, is that no, you cannot use that same charger. Uh, the way that chargers work uh, for sealed lead acid batteries versus lithium batteries are very different. They have very different charging requirements. The uh, higher voltage of lithium batteries and the way that they use pulse charging on sealed lead acid batteries at the end to sort of top them off and to prevent uh, layers of forming inside the battery. Uh, they use these pulse chargers that go way up above 15 volts and that will actually cause your BMS, your battery management system and your lithium to shut off, which is why a lot of times you can't get a full charge on a lithium battery. Lithium batteries tend to have uh, a more steady uh, voltage requirement in terms of getting charged. So you need to use a specific one, first of all, in order to get a maximum charge out of your battery and secondly, uh, to prevent any damage to your lithium battery. Your BMS should protect it, but you don't want to risk that. So now the second question I get a lot is what amperage charger should I get? And that all depends on your, your battery's capacity and your desire to get a faster charge. Now a lot of these lithium batteries can handle up to 50% of their amperage rating. So, so you can use a six amp charger uh, on a 12 amp hour battery and have it charged in two hours. The battery management system should be able to handle that, although you should make sure and check that um, with your specific battery manufacturer. Uh, but the more amps uh, on your chargers, the more expensive they get, right? So for me, you know, with what I'm charging, um, my little 10 and 12 amp hour batteries that I'm using for my fish finders and things like that on my kayak and while I'm out on the ice, I'm just going to use a relatively inexpensive 3 amp hour lithium charger. It's going to get me to a full charge in 3 to 4 hours easy. Now if I am charging my bigger 100 amp hour batteries uh, that I'm using for powering my trolling motors or my motorized kayaks, that's a different story. I don't want to use a 3 amp charger because that's going to take 33 hours if I drew my battery all the way down to 0% which is impossible but it would take 20-30 hours to charge it using this charger and that's why I recommend at least going up to a 10 amp charger designed specifically for lithium now these come in 10, 20, and 50 you know the 10 and 20 amp chargers are fairly affordable anywhere from 50 to 150 dollars when you get up there in those 50 amp chargers, you're going to be spending $300, $400, um, and maybe that's worth it if you're kind of if you're the kind of person that forgets to put their battery on the charger the night before, and you need to get that thing charged up in a couple hours before you go out on the water. Then maybe investing in a 50 amp charger is for you. For me, I always remember to come home and plug this thing in. Um, I use these little Anderson clips here, so I can always have it ready to go on my battery so I can put this in my battery box but I also just have that Anderson clip right there and I can just tie that right in it's super easy when I get back it's just a matter of plugging that in and it starts charging I will put links to a couple different lithium chargers that I've used or with companies that I've worked with that I trust down below and you can do your research on them there. Like I said, just make sure that you check with your specific manufacturer for your lithium batteries. Almost all the ones I've seen can handle, like I said, up to 50% of their amp hour charge uh, at a charging rate. So, you know, if you want to spend the money, you can get these things topped off and charged in just a couple hours. Um, but if you're somebody who's really good about remembering when they get back off the water, to just, just go ahead and charge their battery, then that shouldn't be a problem. And lastly, I wanted to talk about storing your battery. It is winter time and we are having absolutely brutal winter. So it's one of the few winters I've not been able to get out and go kayak fishing that much. Uh, so when I'm storing these batteries, my big trolling motor batteries, I want to store them at about 70% charge. Now these batteries that I use, the AO Lithium and Rebel batteries, have built-in Bluetooth. So it's easy for me to check the charge. And when I draw it down to about 70%, I can just stick it on the shelf and not worry about it. 
if you don't have that capacity on your on your battery with the Bluetooth to look at its charge, you can top off your battery and then draw it down um, using something that you know has a relatively steady amount of amperage draw and that will get you there too. So it doesn't need to be exact, but they do have a longer lifespan. If stored for several months um, at a 70% charge than at a 100% charge. Alrighty guys, I hope that answers your questions. Uh, if you have any more, just let me know in the comment section below. I'll see you next time out on the water or here at home, bye.